So I keep dying in Rainbow Friends Chapter 2, and it's not just me. I don't want you to have to waste any of your precious gems, and you can have more time playing with friends. And not only will this save you Robux, I'll be able to spend more time making videos for you all. So I needed to study this chapter in Rainbow Friends, so it's going to save you time, get you gems, coins, and rank up faster. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to never die in Rainbow Friends Chapter 2 again. Okay, I'm super excited about today's video because after you watch it, you will be a pro at Rainbow Friends Chapter 2. So in Chapter 2, Hour 1, which the hours are basically nights now, you are going to have to collect 25 light bulbs. Now you're going up against three rainbow friends this time and that is going to be blue, green, and purple. Now purple is going to be by choice but you may have to encounter purple because you need to get certain items that's inside of purple's lair. But don't worry I'm going to show you exactly how to never die by purple either. So let's start out with blue. Now blue has changed a lot from chapter one. As far as blue is a lot faster and that's almost exactly what blue needed because blue felt a little bit easier in chapter one but in chapter two blue is a lot faster so you have to be very very careful i suggest hiding in lockers under tables and if you need to you can even hide in the center piece of the chapter by the laser tag area until blue goes away so just pay attention to your reaction time when blue sound alerts that he's coming after you because he will not stop. Now let's talk about green. Green hasn't really changed at all, but however, green is still quite challenging. But the good thing is I've seen less people die by green this go around because a lot of people died by green because night two when green came out in chapter one was by far one of the most difficult nights for players that I observed. But green, just do not stand in a box by green. Just don't walk past green. Green is blind. You don't have to worry about green chasing you, but just avoid green at all cause if green is standing still keep your distance and maybe wait you can always be risky like i am sometimes and go through green's arms and such things like that but i wouldn't recommend it if you're trying to survive now purple's lair now purple is actually quite challenging but however very easy to get away from once you understand exactly what's going on so inside of purple's lair purple actually pops out of the bushes it sounds like the vent noise as well but purple you see the hands coming after you it's quite intense reminds me of like a zombie scene and the best way and the only way to avoid dying by purple is to stand on these rocks around the area inside of purple's lair so purple cannot get you as long as you are standing on these rocks and something to take into account is when you enter purple's lair purple is always going to basically be coming from behind you especially if you go in from the laser tag area chances are purple is going to be coming from your left and if you go in through the other way purple might be coming from the right so keep that in mind when you are entering purple's lair but the good thing is you can outrun purple but do not box up or stop or you're going to be doomed Okay, hour two, and we now have a brand new rainbow friend to go up against, and this is yellow. Now, the cool thing about yellow is, is not only is yellow the same color as a taxi, yellow can actually get you across the other side of the map and you're able to survive now yellow seems to be one of the most frustrating rainbow friends for a lot of players and when hour two comes into play a lot of players start dying at this point the thing is you're going up against not just yellow but all the other rainbow friends as well which i can understand makes it quite difficult so how do you get away from yellow if you get alerted by yellow you cannot outrun yellow but you can if you're using corners and getting away so just run away box up and then yellow will just leave you alone now one thing to notice is if you get caught by yellow i mean he just slams you to the ground flies you away super super cool but however if you do not jump off in time because you can actually jump off of yellow and survive by jumping into the bouncy castle that is the only way you can survive from a yellow kind of i guess pickup kill in a way but if you don't jump 
or you miss it, you die. And if you don't jump at all, yellow takes you to the nest and you get eaten. Cool thing is you can even start using this for fun, especially when you get more confident around yellow. You'll just get knocked down, flown across the map, and it'll just be all fun and games. And one thing to really pay attention to is the sounds. So when you sort of hear like this helicopter motor sound, that's how you know yellow is near. And one thing I also want to tell you that is so key when it comes to yellow, because it's going to make you be extremely more aware of what's happening and where yellow will possibly be so yellow's nest is right by the laser tag area right up to the right you'll see a brown nest now after yellow gets a kill from there he will fly directly at this spot here always so keep that in mind if someone does die by yellow or if you hear a helicopter in the sky that it sounds like you Chances are you know that yellow is going to be landing in this spot, so just be very mindful of that. Okay, so after completing more hours, and again, you're going up against all of these rainbow friends. We have blue, green, yellow, purple. We now get introduced to one of the best rainbow friends, and she is called Cyan. So Cyan is super, super awesome, but I'm gonna show you how to never die by Cyan, just in case you have been. So Cyan, listen out for the robotic footsteps and laughs. So the thing with Cyan, Cyan is is that Cyan will chomp and chase you especially if you get alerted and there's something really cool about Cyan as well that no other rainbow friend has and that is the extreme focus senses so what exactly is that so you are able to box up against all of the rainbow friends with no problem except for green of course and purple actually but the thing is with Cyan is that if you box up you're able to do that, but do not move because if you move, Cyan will sense that someone is near and is moving. And if you do that too much, Cyan will kill you. So some key things to worry about Cyan is just, again, really listen for the footsteps and avoid moving in a box around Cyan. If you need to, you can always go over to the ride areas if they're nearby because none of the rainbow friends can get you there. So that is a little hide and seek sort of secret there if you just Go over to the rides and none of the rainbow friends can get you. So if you are able to get past all of these rainbow friends, we make it to the very, very end. And this cart ride here, I've seen a lot of people die at this spot too. And it's a shame because you cannot respawn once you make it to the finale. So this is where it gets quite crucial. So pay attention. So once you get on the cart, it's totally up to you to trust another player. If you want them inside of your cart, because they could possibly sabotage sabotage you and get you killed there are enough carts for everyone and sometimes people want to join your carts but just be careful and mindful about it now there are some rainbow friends that you have to watch out for here but you can use a and d well left and right to sort of tilt your cart and you have to tilt your cart by just following the lookies cart so do pay attention because you're going to be going up against orange so just turn away from orange if you don't you die then you have to turn up against blue if you don't you also die then we have yellow as well so you need to also go to the left and we have cyan which you also need to turn and that brings us up to the final finale bit where it would be such a shame to make it through all of this and die at this point so there's only one crouch part here when it comes to this in chasing that scion has put you on so you're being chased by scion and it's quite intense and scary so you have to crouch one time and you just follow exact route that shows you everywhere else looks sort of blocked off and then just crouch through the end so I guess technically you have to crouch twice through the end but pay attention to that and you will get past cyan and if you have followed all of these steps up against the rainbow friends that literally shows you exactly what to look out for and just 
Really think about using the map to your advantage. It's a huge map with a lot of hiding spots. Now, if you never die and you still can't get a win, well, I created a video called How to Always Win in Rainbow Friends, and it's right here. So you should really check that out if you need some more help completing Rainbow Friends Chapter 2. But let me know what's been your biggest takeaway of this down below in the comments, or if you have any tips to share with others who may be struggling in Rainbow Friends Chapter 2. Comment down below. I would love to see them. But don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!